the royal queen of the Ebony Army rests silently in the darkness of their new wooden lair. I've learned that this Queen Carpenter Ant is actually quite a special queen with a lot of character. But you'll see for yourself exactly what I mean later. Her minions lounge around the chamber, enjoying their new living quarters and tending to a pile of babies, laying happily asleep with full bellies at the back. A worker moves into the next room to join another worker. The space is actually still quite large for the colony, so it will be some time before they grow big enough to fill it out. Nevertheless, the Ebony Army have ordained this place as their official territory and have truly fallen in love with their new home I gave them. But guys, the epic process of how the ants collectively elected this wooden ant farm palace of wood I designed for them, a suitable place to make their nest, was truly the highlight of my week and will utterly astound you all. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ants Canada Ant Channel. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC Fam. Enjoy. AC Family, let's get to it. In last week's episode, the Redwood Warriors Another carpenter ant colony we are raising together on this channel moved into their new wooden palace, an AC ant tower with wood. You guys will get an update on them later in the video. But the thing is, in last week's episode, I didn't actually get to film the ants moving into the ant farm, carrying all the brood and convincing the queen it was safe to move, and I couldn't believe I missed all that cool ant action when I took a measly 5 minute bathroom break. I bet the Redwood Warriors waited for me to leave before deciding it was time to move out of their birth test tube setup in which they were raised and into their new wooden ant farm home. But guys, I made sure that I wouldn't make the same mistake twice. And so the good news is, this time, I actually did get to film the second carpenter ant colony, the Ebony Army, moving into their new wooden ant farm. And you guys will be witnessing that super interesting process today. Watching ants move into a new home is one of the most gratifying events to witness in the ant keeping hobby. And I know you guys will love this move. So do keep on watching until the end for all that. And now for the grand move of the Ebony Army into their new home. AC Family, behold, the new home I had fashioned for the Ebony Army. It's been spending the night floating in water, like an incubated fetus in its embryonic fluid. I've soaked it in water in order to soften the wood and prep it for the grand habitation of the Ebony Army. The time has come to extract the layer from the water. Let's have a closer look at the Ebony Army's future home, shall we? I gave this wooden home a tunnel layout that was different from that of the Redwood Warriors. There were lots of spacious tunnels and chambers here, as well as some neat features. The rooms, as you can see, are quite chunky. There are also a few of what I call shadow tunnels, or secret backway holes that we can't see from the front, that connect the chambers like here and here. Some rooms are quite elongated, giving the ants a great amount of space. I really hope the Ebony Army would love it. I placed the entire wooden outfitting into an AC Ant Tower from AntsCanada.com. All was set now. The wood nest looked awesome in there. AC Family, are you ready? It's time to connect our carpenter ants, the Ebony Army, to their new home. Cross our fingers and hope the ants like their new nesting space. Here we go, connecting the ants to the port. And done, let's watch. The ants instantly entered the ant tower. The ants quickly grew excited about their new space, which smelled of fresh wood, a material they were born to love. Oh my gosh, an ant entered the hole. The ant took a quick exploratory look at the interior of the wooden nest and headed straight for the colony to tell the others. Back at the nest, the colony was busy rearranging the brood. 
Look at our fat royal queen of the ebony army. So beautiful. I loved looking at the marvelous details of her exoskeleton. Such gorgeous armor. Guys, by the way, leave your name suggestions in the comments for this queen. Let's give her a cool name finally, shall we? Little did I know, there was something special about this queen, which you will be seeing shortly. She was about to surprise me. I wondered if there was a growing hype now, circulating among the colony members, about our new wooden nest we gave them. I could definitely see more ants were scoping out the interior of the nest. Over the next hour, I watched as ants popped in and out of our wooden ant home. I knew that in order for the colony to decide to move in, we only needed one ant to have the novel idea that, hey, this wooden space would make a great home to get the chain reaction of the ants collectively deciding to move the colony in. It's actually how the collective mind of an ant colony works. One ant comes up with an idea and is tasked with the challenge of convincing other ants to join in on its campaign. It's kind of like an ant democracy. Once the majority casts a vote for an idea, and soon the entire colony follows. You'll see what I mean in a moment. And AC family, look! The ant democratic process has already begun. See those groundbreaking ants who decided to pick up the babies? They're convinced that there could be a better location to place them. They just aren't exactly sure which location yet. They're feeling around just to see if the air humidity levels are right, just a bit closer to our wooden nest. Looks like they're not quite convinced yet though. But what happened next totally shocked me. Hey! Where's the queen going? And why doesn't she have any guards with her? Okay, this was quite unconventional. It seems the queen had heard the rumors of vacant wooden chambers and just had to check things out for herself. Wow! This queen was so brave and such a go-getter. The queen checked out as much of the nest as she could, smelling and feeling, measuring and inspecting. Would this home pass the royal standards of a queen? I couldn't wait to find out. Surprisingly, she turned around and headed back into the test tube. Aw, did this mean she didn't like our wooden nest? Bummer, if that was the case. She stopped to clean herself, which ants often do when they come in from a new place, and began to communicate something to her workers. A worker also came to give the queen a quick meal via trophallaxis, i.e. mouth-to-mouth -mouth food transfer from food stored in the worker's social stomach. In the test tube, workers were fussing around the brood pile. I spotted one of the larvae twitching as it begged to be fed. The ebony army's brood pile was quite impressive. The queen has been prolific. So at this point, as I was watching the queen having her dinner, I assumed the wooden nest we gave the ebony army was a fail, which was sad because with the Redwood Warriors, it was such a hit. And then, I saw this. Hey, an ant bringing a larva into the wooden nest. Yay, there was still hope. And then to my surprise, the queen took a second trip, this time accompanied by another ant carrying brood into the wooden nest. The next few minutes involved the queen leaving the nest again and ants bringing more of the brood into the wooden nest. More and more workers were shipping the brood out now. The campaign of moving the colony into the wooden nest was gaining traction. But not all the ants were convinced yet. Here you see some ants who were voting for the move into the new wooden nest, but then there were ants who voted to keep the colony here in the test tube. These ants were bringing the brood back. Surprisingly, even our queen was helping to keep the brood in place despite some of her daughters already sold on the idea of moving out. Why is our queen acting so much like a worker today? The queen took a third trip back to the wood nest, this time hanging out by the entrance with the other workers. Okay, can someone please let this queen know she's not a worker ant? Sheesh, she can't be hanging out in the open like this. Seems this queen is an ant of the people. I watched as ants brought the brood in, while others brought the brood out. This all might seem really counterproductive, but this is simply how the collective ant mind works. 
Some ants believe in one idea, while others believe in another. What you're seeing here is comparable to poll results competing and going head to head. Eventually, one idea will gain the confidence of a majority of the ants, until soon, all ants join that popular campaign. I hoped it would be to move into our new wooden nest. AC family, let's sit back and watch how this all plays out. Finally, watch this hilarious moment, this one last ant, who was voting to stay in the test tube, suddenly change its mind. Duh, okay, fine. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Actually, no, I believe in my cause, but I'm the odd one out now. Okay, let's move. And that was it. The majority rules. The colony had officially moved into our wooden nest. A final ant came back to make sure no babies were left behind and all was clean. When the final worker evacuated the test tube, I removed the test tube adapter from the port and plugged it up with an AC plug. It's always a bit bittersweet to see an evacuated birth test tube set up empty. It was the only home the colony knew and it served its purpose well. The Ebony Army now had a new home, fitting for a mighty carpenter ant colony. AC family, behold the Ebony Army inside their new palace of wood in their new AC ant tower. The queen had settled into this chamber here. It was so cool to see workers in various areas of the nest. Now just like last time, I didn't want to remove the red film for a better look at the ants inside just yet. I wanted the ants to enjoy their new home in privacy and feel it was a safe place and the right choice for a home. I resolved to come back and check up on them in 24 hours. The next day, I returned to check up on the Ebony Army. Let's remove the film. There was the queen. She looked so cozy in there. I loved watching ants entering and exiting the nest at the entrance. I felt the ants truly loved their new home. And now as we always do on the channel, it was time for a housewarming gift. I placed some sweet jelly to provide the colony nourishment, as well as energy after a great colony move. The ants found our jelly offering and began to fill up their social stomachs. The full ants entered the nest and immediately began to deposit the collected goods to feed the queen. My heart was full watching our ants happily filling up on food. Knowing the ants were now one step closer to living in a home much more natural to them made me as their keeper feel good in my heart. I spent the next hour watching every ant in the colony fill up on jelly and enter the nest to enjoy their new palace of wood. All right, and as promised at the start of this video, an update on the Redwood Warriors. Removing the red film. And voila, check them out. They look so good in there. So it seems the colony really likes this upper chamber here. It appears to be the best humidity for the colony's liking. The lower chambers are a bit too humid still, but I won't be watering the nest again until this moisture disappears. I see lots of brood, healthy workers, and the Redwood Warrior Queen, who still likes to hang upside down from the ceiling. AC family, real quick, what should we name this Queen of the Redwood Warriors? Leave your name suggestions in the comments. I could tell they were really loving this wood nest because I've also attached a fresh test tube setup to the ACN Tower to provide the colony fresh water, and they haven't moved into it, which is a great sign they're happy where they are. Overall, 
It was so satisfying to watch our two carpenter ant colonies enjoying their new wooden nests. This has always been a dream of mine. Housing carpenter ants in ant farms of wood. I had some epic plans for them coming up in the next episode. And so AC family, thus continues our epic story of two beloved carpenter ant kingdoms in their twin towers of wood. But the big question now is, which team is your favorite? Thank you for watching and supporting the ants. It's ant love forever.